Hey everybody, <clears throat> Spoonfed here, and I'm with a Angry IP Scanner on Black Ubuntu. So I'll just uh, walk you through this, uh, getting started. So you got the feeder, which is actually that one there, and you can specify it there. Now, fetcher is from uh, what it should be gathering host names, open ports, that sort of stuff. So that's very nice. Well, a live host is a live host, dead host is dead host, but it could have open ports. Uh, an open port is uh, basically something that sends a packet back, and a filter port could be that it sends no RST packet, but also not the packet that you're expecting. Um, ICP echo is uh, just an ICMP um, packet to send it out, and if they get a response, then they know it's up. UDP is, well, basically UDP packet. TCP is trying to connect to port 80, which doesn't always work. And time to live is basically how long can a packet live. So if you're on a big network that has lots, loads and loads and loads of hops, try to increase this. Um, and that's everything. It So um, you can go here, fetchers. Um, so here you have hostname and ports and ping hostname ports, but you can also, um, let's see, web detect, net bias info, comments, filter ports, time to live, we'll, we'll do everything. Uh, you can specify net mask by doing that, so you do like so, um, you know, you can do that, or just 16, which makes it go from this to that, which is a lot. 24 is going to that, and 26 is to that. So I'm going to do this one, IP range, um, ICP echo, yes, and I'm going to do some ports. Well, one through, uh, I don't know, 500 is fine. So, okay, go, start. And to get everything in there, by the way, is you got to run that command on uh, black bones is a pseudo IP scan just right so you now so I should see everything so it's scan completed nothing is alive no that's correct because I've got one so uh, start again please uh, no no yes start yes oh um, that is a Stupid mistake. All right, there you go. So here we go. Um, like so. Uh, you can say not applicable. Some filter ports on that one. So we might be able to exploit that. One point six. It's not. Not really sure what's going on there. Uh, Thirty. Three doesn't respond at all because I actually switched that off. But this is my this is the Windows server, so I might be able. This is the Windows server. Uh, I might be able to switch that on actually. So one more. All right, so I switch that on so we can run another scan. Um, and this one is actually a very awesome one. As you can see because that's my uh, Raspberry Pi which of course I have and, and the rest is all empty apart from that one, so we're going to stop it, we're going to close it and that one did not scan, but it is up and running so we'll just we'll start another one, yes that one is the quickest, of course because that's our own Machine. There we go. Let's see if 33 is catched already. No. 33 was not up and running yet. Stop it again. Alright. Start it again. I'll log in. See if that helps. One second. Alright, logged in. Let's wait for a second. That's funny because that's my telephone. I'll let that log in right now as well. 
Um, I, you can also select, by the way, just like a live host and then say export selection. So that's pretty awesome as well. Um, you can say comment show details so here, show details. And you can copy whatever, you can put comments in here. Say this is like the default gateway, aka router. You can do that. Or um, here you can say show details, comment is own machine. And so on and so on and so on. So let me just run it one more time. Uh, yes, this got previous results. It's not the fastest scanner. It's actually on 7, then 12. What's 12? Funny. 7 is actually uh, my telephone, which doesn't have anything on. And it doesn't have a host name, apparently. Which makes sense. Yeah, 33 is not detected and 6 is detected. Um, somehow it doesn't want to terminate the Windows ones correctly, um, which is fine. Uh, but here you can see it has open ports and it has a lot of open ports actually. It also has 445 open. And that's a green one actually. So. You can say rescan that one. Sometimes it takes like quite a while to end them. And on 50, of course, we have this one. Now these filter ports are there. So it's probably because my uh, or that box, Openetic box, doesn't really respond well to the packets, which is fine. And 6, we want to. Open and then you can open, of course, like SSH if you want or Telnet. That's open. Like here, we have Telnet open, so we can open up Telnet, and it will see. Now it's already closed, and uh, the reason for that is you actually use Telnet to put on uh, firmware, I believe. So you just send stuff through that port with a cable. Um, so close. Yeah. So scan everything. So now it has all the ports on there, and it sees that it's IS seven, and it has oh crap. And there we go. That's the Windows machine name. Exciting, isn't it? And this is the filter ports, and it was tw one twenty eight time to live. So that's pretty huge packet. Uh, and that's it for the angry IP scanner. Um, it's it's generally just more sensible to use it as a not as a port scanner um, only show a live host and um, bah, 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 which else is there yeah you can say here like scan that host which don't apply to pings for the port scans so it might be that but you know and if I start now, and I'll say yes, you only see the stuff that's alive, which makes more sense. And there we go. And here, this one is actually very interesting because that one is another PC. Ah, right, funny. It detects my uh, the host PC, as it were. That's funny. This is one of my desktops, this is my host PC, this is my telephone, uh, let me just sort by IP. But this is my router, this is not a desktop, this is my telephone, this is my host system, this is my virtual machine, this is my uh, Windows server, and this is my open network box. So that's, uh, yeah, this is a nice point of entry, as you, if you would see this in the port scanning. So right now we've we've shown all of this, of course, but you can easily just say uh, display. Uh, no, not display. Sorry, tools, fetchers, and just remove ports. Um, NetBIOS is well. That's kind of interesting because you can see if somebody has that on, so that's probably handy. Comments is not that one. Filter ports not that one, and that one. Yeah, right. So 
So this is will be the ideal one for my scanning right here. Uh, do we have some other preferences? No, we already showed that. Uh, selection, we showed that scan statistics. You can see that. Um, that's basically it. Uh, yeah, the commands are pretty cool. I think that's one of the reasons Angry IP Scanner really does work nicely. You can immediately open like an FTP tool or you know geolocate or you know whatever you want mail clients. Um, I believe you can even open up. Uh, what can you open up? Uh, you know, trace route. Who is an uh, email sample? You can open up quite the things actually. So let's just open up. For instance, here we can open up. Uh, well, trace route's not that going to be that interesting. Um, well, for this one, we can open up. SSH. See, and then we're automatically connected. So that's that's pretty cool of this machine or this tool. Um, that's it for the Angry RP scanner.